Hello and welcome to Tiki Tea Tuesday. Today I'm going to be discussing what it's like working quick service food and beverage on your Disney College program. Now if you're not familiar, I worked at Woody's Lunchbox in Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios and although I wanted to pick up shifts at other locations, I did not. So what I'm telling you is just from Woody's Lunchbox and my experience there. If you're watching this and you know that you're working at Woody's Lunchbox, amazing, this is perfect for you. But if not, just know that some things are different at different locations, but for the most part, this is what working quick service was like for me on my program. So without further ado, let's get to it. So how I plan on explaining this is I'm going to break it up into sections. So the first section is going to be the kind of work that you do in quick service and the different positions that you can have while you're working. The second section is going to be about the hours that you get in this role and what days and times you usually work. The third section is going to be about the kind of people that you work with. The fourth section is going to be all about free food when you're working. And the fifth section, and probably the most important, is how you make magic being in the quick service role. Chapter 1. The kind of work you do in the quick service food and beverage role. So I'm not sure how this works with other roles, but the great thing about quick service is that you have rotations throughout the day. And in these rotations, which take place every two hours or so, you get to switch the different position that you're at at your location. There's a lot of different positions that you can have, and I'm sure different locations have different ones, but um, I'm going to read to you the list that I've made of all the different positions that I had at Woody's Lunchbox, and I had to write it down because there's a lot. One of the positions that you can have is a busser, which you are out wherever your tables are at your location, and you basically clean the tables down and sweep the floor. Um, I know some locations take care of the trash, my location didn't because we were outside so Custodial did that. You can also interact a lot with guests in this particular position. So at Woody's Lunchbox we would be given like a lanyard with pins on them if you wanted to wear that and that way when you're out walking around sweeping and um, cleaning the tables you can pin trade. Another position that you can have is kind of self-explanatory but is cash. So you are on the cash register, you are taking orders, putting them in and just getting that line going, interacting with guests. There's also the stalker position in which, um, for Woody's lunchbox, we had to run down to the Connex box, which is where we stored bowls and forks, plates, um, condiments, um, all different types of stuff. And you basically run and bring those to the location to make sure everything is stocked up and that the other positions are good to go. We also made um, the drinks, so at Woody's Lunchbox we had Grown Ups Lemonade and the Mystic Portal Punch and both of those we had like big buckets and you mix them in the back and you basically make these drinks and then store them in the cooler in the back. But I don't know how that compares to other quick service locations if they also do that, but at Woody's Lunchbox that is also something you did as a stalker. Then there was Dish, and in Dish there is a catcher and a loader. On occasion I've also been a culinary assistant, which is if the culinary is understaffed or if we're overstaffed um, as quick service, you would be borrowed and taken to culinary to help them prepare their food. There's also the front counter, which had filler one, filler two, drink filler, mobile order, expo, yes. But basically, in these, you're just taking the food from the back and bringing it to the guests, um, checking their receipts, making sure they have everything. Behind the counter, there's a window and this is what we call the line. In the line, there was the anchor, the middle, and the window. The anchor would get a receipt, print it out, they would look at it and prepare all the plates. The middle person was responsible for making sure the sides are good and also building tachos, which if you don't know what tachos are, they're basically tater tot nachos. Um, so that person would build those and make sure the sides of the sandwiches were good. 
And finally, at the window is the person with a cut glove who cut the sandwiches, put them on the plate, and put them in the window so that they can be brought out to the guests. Some other positions that I had, but not very often, just because of when I worked, um, there's also a greeter, an exit greeter, and mobile order outside. I probably explained all of that terribly, and I know it's like kind of scary with all those different positions, but once you really get trained into it and you have experience with it, it becomes second nature to you. So chapter two is all about the hours that you work as a quick service. So there's a joke about the Disney College program that DCP stands for Disney Closing People, which is funny but also true. With my program, I was almost always a closing shift, except for this random week where I had like opening shifts and I had to get up at 4 a.m. for those, but 95% of the time, I was a closer. At first, I did not like closing, but after having that random week of opening shifts, I realized how much I really loved closing. And at first, it's extremely overwhelming learning how to close down every single position. For example, we had an ice cream machine and every night we had to empty it, run water through it, take all the pieces apart, send them to dish. When we got them back from dish, you had to put it back together, test it out, make sure it works. At first, this machine horrified me and I made a huge mistake by not um, watering out the machine before I took it apart and it made a huge mess. Needless to say, I definitely learned from that particular experience. But by the end of my program, I became a pro at that ice cream machine and I actually really loved closing it. But for the most part, I would work five, six, seven days a week and for five, six, seven hours a day. Chapter three, the people in quick service. So story time, originally when I applied for my Disney College program, I really, really wanted PhotoPass because I studied journalism in school and I really took a liking to video and photography. Obviously that's not how it played out and to be honest, I'm extremely glad that it didn't work out that way because I know PhotoPass is a pretty independent role, which I could do, but I get really lonely. You work with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people in quick service. I think this goes for any role, but because you work so much, you get super close with the people that you work with very fast and you build bonds over the stresses of your location. So Woody's Lunchbox is a very small location and because all the CPs were working at night, I was always hanging out with them and it made work so fun. Like if it wasn't for the people that I worked with, I don't think I would enjoy my program as much as I did but I met some of the most amazing people at Woody's Lunchbox and it was amazing because even on our days off or after work, we would hang out. we go to bars together, clubs together, we would have reservations in the morning for like a character breakfast or on any other type of breakfast. Even a week after I returned home, I met up with a few of my Woody's Lunchbox toys and yeah, we met up in New York City at Grand Central Terminal and we just walked around the city and it was just so nice to see them again, even though it was only a week since um, the program ended. I basically put this section in the video because I know when I first found out I got quick service, um, of course I was excited to be accepted to the program at all, but I was a little disappointed that I didn't get PhotoPass, but if you're in the same boat and you wanted a different role on your college program, I promise you that quick service, although a little intimidating at first, um, is definitely a really, really, really fun time, especially if you get along well with people and you like being surrounded by people. Quick service is an incredible role because of that. Like you're always working closely with people and you get close with them super fast and it's a really good time. Chapter four, free food. I'm probably very misleading in how I worded this, but um, for the most part, no, you do not get free food whenever you want working in quick service. I think that's a common misconception that people have about this role. However, there are times that you do get free food from your location. At Woody's Lunchbox, we have little things called Woody's Lunch Bucks. So yeah, different tasks, different things would earn you these babies. And if you turn on the back, it shows you that different amounts of them would get you different things. And one of these things is a sandwich. And at Woody's Lunchbox, we had grilled cheese, the turkey sandwich, a uh, barbecue brisket melt, and tachos. So if you earn 15 of these, then you can get a sandwich. Another great thing about being the closing crew is that if there is an extreme amount of leftover food, 
then sometimes your leader or coordinators, depending on who they are, um, will let the closing crew take home sandwiches or different foods. For the most part, all the leftover food from a day goes into food waste, which sounds wasteful, but I promise you it's not. Disney actually takes all this food waste and then converts it into energy that they use for um, the buses and different things. So no, it's not wasteful of the food if you're not eating it. We also had lunchbox tarts at Woody's Lunchbox, which were basically like giant Pop-Tarts and different seasons had different flavors. So when I first started, they had a raspberry one and then towards Christmas, they had a cinnamon apple one, which had a little snowman on it. It was really cute. Sometimes we would have way too many of these lunchbox tarts at the end of the day. So the closing crew was able to take one or two or even three of them um, back home with them. After a while, I kind of got sick of them just because we got them so often, but then I would bring them back for my roommates and leave them on the counter as a little snack or a little lunch for them to bring to their jobs. Sometimes there were even just random days that I would get free food, not even expecting it and without reason. So that one week that I had those horrible opening shifts, I will say that one of those days, it was pouring rain outside, the park was empty, we barely had any guests coming in, and so... Our leader at the time allowed all of us to pick a sandwich. So in the morning we had a s'mores sandwich and a breakfast turkey sandwich and we got to choose one of those and that was really cool. Again, it depends on your location and who the leader and coordinators are when you're working. But for the most part, I think closing shift people get to take little snacks home. Something I almost forgot to mention though is that you always have free soda. So if you're going on break, you are allowed to grab a cup, fill up a soda, um, that's totally free and you can do that every day. Also, if you're the closing crew, um, if you're closing drink filler, you have to call out last call for drinks and people come in, fill up drinks, and then they have them for once the shift is over. So drinks were always a thing that you could get for free. Finally, chapter five how you make magic in the quick service food and beverage role. I know a lot of people that get the quick service role become upset because they think that with this role you can't make magic because you're just giving out food to people and you're cleaning up after them, but that's entirely not true. This is how you make magic in the quick service role. So I know with my location we were given rolls of stickers so you could give those out to kids. I would even have adults come up and ask for stickers awesome give them those stickers make that magic like i said if you're bussing and your location allows you to have a lanyard with the pins on them you can pin trade which is always a magical thing to do and different locations have different snacks and things so for us we had the lunchbox tarts and a lot of the times if it was someone's birthday or if a kid was crying or anything like that we were allowed to go to the counter and ask for a tart and as long as you mark it on the spoilage sheet, you are allowed to just take this tart for free and give it to someone to create magic that way. So although you are in quick service, that does not mean you can't make magic like other roles. I honestly think that you can make even more magic because people love food and free food. Make that free food magic at Walt Disney World, you quick service people, you. If you have any questions about working in quick service, let me know down in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you know what location you're working in, let me know that too. I'm curious to see what different quick service locations people have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, Tiki T. And make sure to also hit that bell notification, that way you never miss a Tiki T Tuesday. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!